pure as form. Amen, Lord. We do greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We greet you with the words of grace and peace. And we thank God for those that are watching by way of live internet, whether by Facebook or by YouTube. We thank God for each and every one of you. And of course, if you uh, have any uh, Bible question, you can certainly email us. My email address is ministerdbush at gmail.com. I read and answer all of my emails, so uh, we encourage you to uh, email us. We'd like to invite your attention to the book of Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles, uh, the fifteenth chapter. Second Chronicles, the fifteenth chapter. <clears throat> Second Chronicles, the fifteenth chapter, and we will just start reading uh, at verse one. There is a phenomenon in the religious world today uh, that I feel compelled by the Holy Ghost to address. There's a, a teaching out, uh, and it is a, a false teaching of uh, once saved, always saved. Uh, you know, the devil is the father of life. And he is a master of misinformation. He doesn't mind you going to church as long as you are not getting the correct information. Mm -hmm. Now, there is this teaching that, you know, once saved, always saved. It doesn't matter what you do, uh, you know, after you come into a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, and then you, you, you're just going to be okay. In other words, you attain a get-out-of-jail-free card, so to speak. Well, I'm here to let you know today that nothing could be further from the truth. You see, the devil has always, he's played the same game. And from the very beginning, he, uh, you know, in the garden with Adam and Eve, God gave them specific instructions, you know, stay in the garden, don't eat, you know, of all the trees you can eat free thereof, except the tree. There's one tree in the midst of the garden. And the devil come along and twisted that thing up and had them eating off that tree. Mm -hmm. Tangled it up, lied to him. And he's doing the same thing today. A holy God requires a holy people. Because the Bible says, Holy, follow peace with all men, but holiness without no man shall see the Lord. But now you have people coming along and tell you that it doesn't matter what you do. You will somehow you say. First Chronicles chapter 15, and at verse 1, the word of God says, And the Spirit of God came upon Ezariah, the son of Oded, and he went out to meet Asa. And said unto him, Hear me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. Listen, listen. The Lord is with you while you be with him. So, so now that, that, that knocks out all this once saved, always saved stuff right there. Because the Bible clearly says, The Lord is with you while you be with him. All right, read on here. It says, and if ye seek him, he will be found of you. Well, watch this, watch this. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Mm -hmm. The Lord is with you while you're with him. Mm -hmm. you know? And that, that, that's fair. That's fair. How in the world you can you can do whatever you want to do? That you know that's just like us as parents. As long as this child is doing what they're supposed to do, 
then I, I would I will move heaven and earth for. But now you get up to a certain age when you think you've grown and you don't have to follow my rules. Okay, but well, the, the Lord is with you while you be with him. Mm -hmm. But now watch this. Now he said, but if you forsake him, he will forsake you. He's with you long as you're with him. But now if you leave God, God ain't going to follow you. Just like the prodigal son. He, he, got, uh, he, he got his inheritance and he went out there and the father didn't follow him into that strange country. He didn't go out there with him. He wasted all he had and he had to come to sin, but he had to go back to that father. Yeah, and we we the same way. We got to go back to God. God is not going. God God not going to run down, run behind us. In fact, one scripture say, "If you draw nigh to Him, He'll draw nigh to you." The Lord is with you while you be with Him. And I'm, you know, several renowned preachers teaching this stuff that it doesn't matter what you do. But I'm here to tell you, it, oh, it matters. It absolutely matters because you're going to stand before God and give an account for what you did, for how you live. The Lord is with you while you be with him. If you seek him, he will be found of you. If you go after God, you, you'll find him. Just like, it, it, it just like anything else, whatever you put your mind to, You'll find him. But if you forsake him, he's going to forsake you too. And that's that's fair. All right, go to St. John now. St. John chapter 8. Amen, amen. I just want to dispel this myth. You know, uh, being in ministry for a while, I've had to preside over uh, funerals. You know, I had to provide over funerals, and uh, <coughs> there have been some times where the departed, you know, they they didn't they did not live a godly life. And I'm I didn't get up there and dress it up for. I'm telling you now, don't, if you want somebody to get up and lie for you, don't call Pastor Darrell. Not going to do it. There were a couple of funerals that I preached at where the folk were upset. But there's nothing, there's nothing I can do about the one that's gone anyway. It's you that's here. You need to hear something. I don't, I don't get up and oh, I know they... Got on they silver slippers, dancing on the streets of gold. <laughs> now that, that, who, who benefit from that? You know, and I understand the, the you know, it's tempting to do that. Cause you, you see this family and they grieving and, and whatnot. Oh my Lord. Man, that thing, that thing do pull on your heart. But I got a job to do. St. John chapter 8 and at verse 31. St. John chapter 8 and at verse 31. The word of God says, Then said Jesus to the Jews which believed on him. Listen. If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples. That's if is a caveat. That if is a condition. What is the condition for being his disciple? You got to continue in his word. If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples. You see a lot, whole lot of folks, they, they think because grandma was saved that that's somehow going to help benefit you. And I tell you all the time, God don't have any grandchildren. You got to know God for yourself. It doesn't matter if your mama is saved. It doesn't matter if your dad is saved. It's what, what about you?
If you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples. You see, this this type of uh, this is the type of preaching that we had years ago. Those old elders, those old bishops back in the day, they gave us a steady diet of holiness or hell. So I, I knew that if I died in some foolishness, I was going to be lost. That, and that's what kept me in check. I would, I, I would only go so far. <clears throat> I remember, though, you know, I, I, it was strict where I grew up. Strict. But well, the old folks say strict on strict. And I remember I went off to college. <clears throat> the very first part I went to, they started shooting me now. And like, I, boy, I, I was, you talking about somebody was praying. Because I knew I'm in the wrong place. And if I leave here in this, I'm in trouble. So, so now look at what the Bible says here. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, if you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Look at verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That's truth makes truth frees you up. A lie can't free you. Late William L. Thomas used to say that all the time. A lie came free. Truth sets you free. But we find a whole lot of folk walking around in bondage because folk are not telling people the truth. Just like with this whole uh, homosexual and, and, and transgender thing. People are not telling people the truth. I mean, it, you may not like that, but the truth is the truth. And the truth will make you free. Mm -hmm. Just because you run around here playing dress up, that don't make you no woman. Mm -hmm. Some folk ain't going to like that. And you got on big old size 15 pumps. You still a, you still a man. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got to come along and tell you that. But, then, but now they feed into these lies. Got a little little old child. Well, I knew when when when, when she was three, she wanted to be a, a boy. No, the Bible said, "Train up a child the way it should go." You got to train. You know, you know, a, a, a little child they will eat cookies and ice cream for breakfast if you let. That's that's not no good idea. You have to. I'm the adult here, so I have to take some some supervision here. You can have some cookies and ice cream sometime, but you need some something nutritious. Otherwise, you will be around here malnutrition. You shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. You know that's that's the thing about people don't like truth because when you encounter truth, it requires you to make a decision. Either you gonna walk in that truth. Are you going to knowingly go in a lie? That's why folks get mad at you. Here you don't expose their right. You done exposed them. Now they mad at me. Well, what you mad at me for? You ought to thank God that somebody had to come along and let you know that you were in error. Still in St. John, go to chapter 14 now. St. John chapter 14. <clears throat> St. John chapter 14, and we'll pick it up at verse 15. St. John chapter 14 and at verse 15, and the word of God says, watch this, if ye love me, keep my commandments. I love the Lord, he heard my cry. And you're doing everything you're big enough to do. He said, if you love me, keep my command. And I will pray to the Father. And I will pray to the Father. And he shall give you another comforter. That he may abide with you forever. You, 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 he's talking about the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. 
you'll receive the Holy Ghost. And the Bible said over in, in Acts, I believe it was about the fifth chapter, the Bible said he gave the Holy Ghost to them that obey. <clears throat> I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Watch this, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. I just told you about truth. I'm going to like truth. The world can't receive the truth. So if, if, if everybody going along with you, you better check which way you're going. Most likely you're going in the wrong direction. If everybody agree with you, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth in you and shall be in you. That's why you, you, you hear these people say, well, there are sins of commission and sins of omission. How, how you done seven, six sin and you don't know? You know when you're wrong. Well, we just like to make excuses for it. We like to cover up what we do. In verse 18, I will not leave, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while and the world yet a little while and the world see me no more, but ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. You know, if you around here saying, saying that you're a Christian, you know, it, it, it means that you're a follower of Christ and you got here doing anything. Any, you, you make you make God look like a fool. You doing whatever it is that you want to do, but yet you claim you a Christian. You know, everybody a Christian today. No man, and you know the world. See, the world used to laugh at the church because the church had a stain. But they laughing at us now because we doing everything they're doing, and we claiming to be saved. <clears throat> yet a little while, and the world sees me no more. But ye see me, because I live, and ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, watch this, look at this now. He that hath my commandments, and keep it them. He that hath my commandments, and keep it them. He is it that love. That's who love. No, well, most of the time when folks say, I love you, I love you, you know they lying. I want to say to you young ladies, especially a young man come along and tell you, he love you, he lying. <laughs> he lying. He lying. A man love a woman, he's gonna, he'll die for her. He's going to respect her. God requires a husband to die for his wife. He said, husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. And what did Christ do for the church? He died for her. I, I am required to put my life on the line for, for my wife. That's required of me. I don't feel around here, I love you now. That's just talk. Look at verse 21. Now watch this. Say, he that hath my commandment and keep it them. Keep it. That means continually and perpetually. Anytime you see it in the Bible, that's what it means continuously. He that hath my commandment and keep it them. It is he that loved me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him. And will manifest myself to him. <coughs> All right, verse twenty-two. Now the Bible says, "Judah said unto him, Not its carried, Lord. How is it that thou would manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world?" Watch this now. And Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, this is over and over again. If a man love me, he will keep my word. You know what? He's going to do what I say. He's going to do what I say. So all this one say, always say, that's a lie. 
If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and he will come into him and make our abode with him. But look, look, watch this, watch this now, verse 24. He that loveth me not, keep it not myself. So how, now how, how you, how you, how you uh, a so-called Christian? If you, you're not doing nothing this Bible says. You know, it's, well, maybe our Bible says something different. Deacon Allen, is this in your Bible? He that loveth me not. Keep it not my saying. He don't do what I say. And watch this. And the world, and the word which ye hear it is not mine, but the Father which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Holy, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. Well, look at this. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I say unto you. All right, go to uh, Matthew chapter 24. Amen, amen. Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. And we'll pick it up at verse 4. Matthew chapter 24. And at verse 4. And where the Lord says, And Jesus answered and said unto him, Listen to what Jesus is saying. Take ye that no man deceive you. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't let nobody come along with this, this new doctrine stuff. Stuff that ain't never been in the Bible. Take heed that no man deceive you. If you can't read what he's saying, don't pay no mind. For many, look, watch this. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive men. Many shall come in my name. Now, now that's not necessarily saying that they're going to say that they are all. Christ, although you have some fools out there that do say, oh, they, they Jesus. Mm -hmm. What that is saying is they're going to come along and a whole lot of people come along saying, I'm anointed. Mm -hmm. But you hear anything, I feel the anointing. But you're a whole man. What anointing do you feel? Mm -hmm. For many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ. I, I'm anointed. And shall deceive many. So that's why you don't get caught up with no crime. Because uh, the Bible said broad is the way that leads to destruction and many. So don't get caught up with a crowd. No, we have a tendency to just look at that. Well, oh, hello. I mean, Bishop Bole, he, he got all these people over there. I mean, God got to be with him. You got more sugar on that choir than anything. Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive men. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. So we, we do, the, if we stand on the word of God, we shouldn't be troubled by this. It, should, we, it shouldn't move us. Because prop, the word of God has to be fulfilled. Amen. It's got to be fulfilled. So, you know, they, they, boy, this corona thing, it last, the 2020, that shook some folk up. Mm -hmm. I, I know y'all remember the thing. They buy up all the toilet paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. they, they were shook up. I mean, you it was wild. You couldn't find no toilet paper. Mm -hmm. Now, what in the world you want to do with toilet paper? How are they going to help corona virus? <laughs> they were shook up. But yeah, I, I'm just trying. I didn't want to get a few. I buy by my norm. You know, uh, uh, couldn't you find it? Uh -huh. I hear, I, I, I can't find none because he's you, and he told and bought, bought all of it. I gave the words here already. Uh -huh. But he told us, he said, we shouldn't be moved by this. Uh -huh. You should hear wars and rumors of wars. But look, I said, see that ye be not troubled. 
Mm -hmm. That's why, you know what, sometimes the best thing to do is turn that TV off. Mm -hmm. Cause that, that, that'll have you depressed. Mm -hmm. Now you scared to go outside. <clears throat> he said, but see that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. Mm -hmm. what, what? But the end is not yet. Mm -hmm. Just like you had this, this, a couple of weeks ago with the gas thing. You know, they actually had people putting gas in, in plastic bags. Oh my God. They were literally putting gas in bags. And one one uh, woman car caught on fire. Because mm -hmm. she was trouble. Mm -hmm. Mind in peace. Trouble. See, now, I got, uh, I got, uh, I'm, I'm so desperate, I'm going to put gas in a bag. Man, listen, you, you got pad and turn. You can walk where you need to go. Mm -hmm. If it come down to it. Mm -hmm. You got a bicycle. Mm -hmm. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquake. The pestilence, we just come through. It's not quite over yet. The coronavirus, the mm -hmm. pestilence. Mm -hmm. This thing gonna be and you know, and we know this. Why are we getting so bent out of shape? Mm -hmm. We know it. And famine, and pestilence, and earthquake in divers places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. See, but and, but this 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 family, family, honey bun religion they teach you folk now. You no, know, they tell a grin and smile. Don't get down. God loves you. Oh, is it watch this? Then shall they deliver you up. I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you, it's, it's, it's not getting no better. Mm -mm. It's not getting no better. Mm -mm. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. You know what? The church here in America, for the most part, is not persecuted. Like if, if you go to Indonesia in in, in, in places, mm -hmm. they are persecuted over there. But you know what? That's coming to America. Amen. Amen. Yes, it is. <clears throat> Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. But the thing about it is, you know what? Joel Osteen ain't going to be afflicted. Because he's grinning and smiling. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And watch this. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So, so if the, and, and, and this young, this young, these young people, you people are not gonna like you. Everybody don't have to like you. You got, you got to understand that. Especially the more you stand for the Lord, the more they gonna hate you. But you know what he said about them? They, they just said something about them haters. He said, "I prepare the table for me in the presence of my enemy." So if they hating on you, that's okay. That's still that ain't gonna stop God from blessing you. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. But we don't want to be hated so we just do everything because we're trying to get everybody to come. We want everybody to come but we don't want nobody to change. That's why we're telling people that once they're saved, they're always saved. You can be saved and do whatever you want to do. You can be saved and be a whoremonger. You can be a saved and be a pimp. But now we open the lesson and say the Lord is with you while you be with him. <laughs> Look at verse 10. Amen, amen. Verse 10. And the word of God says, and then shall many of shall many be offended. And then shall many be offended. And then, oh my goodness. Y'all be amazed at some of the emails I get. Folks offended. And oh, I don't know what I'm what I'm doing, reading the Bible. That's like, your, your problem not with me. I didn't write this. And then shall many be offended. And one scripture talk about offended with truth. Then shall many be offended. Watch this. And shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. No. But we're not worried about the haters now. Mm -hmm. Well, look, look at verse 11 now. And, and many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Where well, they come with all kind of strange doctrine. Mm -hmm. 
Stuff ain't you can't find nowhere in the Bible. But folks, folks believe. It. Come along and got you believing that if if you give me some money, then God on the hook to bless you. And they, they, they and don't y'all see it on when you watch so-called Christian TV, they going up there putting money on the The bless the yeah the blessing plan the plan is he get your money and the blessing is he got it exactly he blessed himself <laughs> <coughs> and many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many and because iniquity shall wax and because iniquity shall wax abound the love of many shall wax cold and and this, I'm telling you I'm I'm not that old I'm, I'm forty eight years old and there is a tremendous difference in the way folks used to treat people years ago. Amen. A big difference. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, children were taught to respect their elders. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter if, if that person was older than you, you owed them some respect. Mm -hmm. But not even the things that match you word for word. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you eight years old. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm the boy. I, sometimes I just be like, Lord, who I want to slip my shoe off? Lord knows. <laughs> <laughs> because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But, but look, watch this, watch this, watch this. Look, look, look. But he that endureth unto the end, mm -hmm. the same shall be saved. The Lord is with you. Why? See, we got to go through all of this. Mm -hmm. He that we got to endure to the end. Mm -hmm. You don't just start off. You know, just like you, you you start a job. You show up Monday. Then don't come back. You think you're going to get paid for that whole time? No, they're going to pay you for Monday. That's it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but he that endured to the end the same shall be saved. You got to take up this cross. Mm -hmm. You see, see, they were honest with us back in the day. They told us, you know, those old priests, they would tell you, this is a suffering way. It's going to cost you something over here. Mm -hmm. You know, It's going to cost you some friends. It's going to cost you some family members. It's a suffering way. But he that endured until the end, the same mm -hmm. shall be saved. It, it's worth it, though. In the end, it's going to be worth it. Right. Oh, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, okay, go to Revelation. Now, we get rid of the clock. Revelation, mm -hmm. amen, amen. Revelation chapter 3, praise the Lord. Revelation chapter 3, amen, amen. Now, Father, Father, I just want to, I just want to make a, a, us to understand clearly that once saved, always saved, that's mm -hmm. not true. Amen. It's not true now. Revelation chapter 3, Amen. And we'll begin reading at verse 1. Revelation chapter 3 and at verse 1. Praise the Lord. All right. Revelation chapter 3 and at verse 1. Now, and the word of God says, Unto the angels of the church in Sardis write, These things said, These things said, He that had the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have found thy works perfect before God. Now, but be watchful. Because I, you know, you, you know he, he's commending them here. You're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. I found your works perfect before God. All right, look at verse 3 now. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard, watch this, and hold fast and repent. Hold fast and, and, and you know, that, that, that's going to, a lot of people going to miss out because they don't want to repent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But be, be, be ready to repent. Be quick to repent. Don't hold it. If you're wrong, you're just wrong. Repent. Now, now he said here, remember thou therefore, remember how thou hast received and heard and hold fast. Remember what you're being taught. Mm -hmm. 
and hold on to it. So, so see, see, if you hold on to what you're being taught, can't a, a false prophet can't come along and fool you. And repent. If you're wrong, acknowledge you're wrong, apologize for the wrong, and turn from it. Don't try to justify yourself. Okay, watch this now. If therefore thou shalt not watch, but, but look now, he's telling you the, the consequences of not doing this. Mm -hmm. If therefore thou shalt not watch, watch this, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. See what? People think they got time. And that's a great message that the devil preaches. You got plenty of time. Oh, you got time. It's like a thief not going to tell you when he's coming. Well, you know, uh, 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 Brother James, I'm going to be over there to rob your house by 1130. Well, he he, he going to be waiting. He's like, well, come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. I got something for you. <coughs> uh, but look, watch it. Watch it. Look at verse, verse 4. Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Look, it's a few names. It is only going to be a few names. It's only going to be a few. And, and so he's saying here, I got a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled thy garments, and they shall walk with me in white for their word. I want to be, I don't know about y'all, but I want to be one of the few that's found worthy. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, look, look at verse 5 now. Look at verse 5. Amen. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. Whoa, look, 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 look. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. So, so, so that, 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 that one save always saves stuff. Your name can be blotted out of the book of life. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't need, I don't need to see. I remember when, when I was in high school, you used to have liquid paper. And, and if you made a mistake, you could blot it out and go ahead and write over. So God can blot your name out of the book of life. I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father, which my father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit said unto the churches. Amen, amen. We'll leave it right there. We thank God for you. We thank God for all things in the name of the Lord. I hope I said something to help somebody. Praise the Lord. Visiting with us. Uh, do I have that name, sir? Yeah. Lena? Mm -hmm. Okay, God bless you. Kiana. Kiana, okay. Lisa. 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 Lisa, okay. Right. Alexis, okay, well, thank God for you. We're, we're glad to y'all uh, chose to come and worship with us. And again, you're most welcome to come be with us uh, anytime. If there's anything that we can do to uh, be a blessing to you, uh, just, just let us know. Uh, we do what we can for you. You're always welcome. Uh, before we get ready to close out, did you want to have some words? Or? No, it's, um, my coworker from work, and she basically been inviting me to find a case. Okay. Good. Amen, amen. Amen. We're glad y'all uh, came. There'll be no other words or announcement of the false thing. Now,
unto him that is able to keep you from falling and then to fall before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. The people of God said, Amen. 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 Amen.